Ignite best deck? Let's go, baby! All Ignite lovers stand up. All one of you. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to get more lovers after this. Because this Ignite Noble Knight combo is going to blow your mind. And it's actually going to put Ignites on the map again. And that's a promise. This video is brought to you by our boy, Pac. Let's go. Pac's going to be doing a guest upload here. So if you want to support your boy, Pac, don't forget to buy a beautiful Trip Gaming playmat because it's obviously what anyone wants. And in fact, you're not supporting Pac or me by buying a playmat. You're actually supporting yourself because you're getting the best playmat in the world. You're welcome. Also, don't forget to subscribe to me and my boy, Pac. And let's get started, baby. Let's get the video to 500 likes. If we get 500, we're going to do a video part two. Part two with Ignite, Noble Knights. So if you're ready for the video, you already know the drill. So let's subscribe button. Let's go. So I have, you know, very sad news to share today. I did something terrible, man. I did something absolutely terrible. I broke Infernal Noble Knights. I did it live on stream um, with with a couple of help from the from people in the chat, like Takay and Dude One One Seven. And uh, man, this combo that I'm about to show you guys, it's gonna get banned. It's gonna get banned. And so I figured I'd show it, you know, as soon as possible. Yo, Konami, if you're watching, you know, uh, you know, hook your boy up with a sponsorship deal. You know what I'm saying? You know, let me show off some cards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, anyways, guys, all seriousness, though, I have the greatest combo video of all time. Like, this incorporates XYC summoning, pen summoning, synchro summoning, uh, link summoning. Like, you guys already heard it. It incorporates every single summoning except, except unfortunately, fusion summoning. All right, bro. So, all right, Jaden, calm down. But anyways, guys, I'm going to show you literally the greatest deck, like, in the new metagame. Like, this deck, when it comes out in Rise of the Duelist... It's gonna break the entire meta, right? Like I'm not I'm not ending on some like like you know like kind of like BS board. This is gonna hand loop you for five. I'm gonna hand loop you for five and VFD you. And if you think I can't do it, well I'm about to show you, man. Alright, so anyways, we're gonna do it with Ignites, man. Like pendulum cards, right? Shadow Trift Gaming, of course, you know, pendulum, pendulum best deck. And we already see right here. We already see right here, right? That we're gonna incorporate the use of like a lot of cards. And this is uber consistent. Like I, if you guys check out my stream at twitch.tv slash pack underscore official underscore TCG, you'll find that on stream, you can watch the VOD. I did this like five hands in a row, 10 hands in a row. So all I'm going to say is, guys, never give up. Don't let someone tell you you can't do something. Yeah, I, I told everyone I was going to break this deck. I told everyone I was going to break this deck. And guys, and here it is, man. Here it is. The broken, the most broken Ignite deck, Infer Infernobles. Yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first off, we start off with our boy Neo Space Conductor, right? Like, this card is just crazy. Like, if you hand shot this, bro, it literally doesn't affect the combo at all because my hand is godly. Like, and every hand is like this. Every hand is like this. Like, literally, it's literally so insane. And you probably are thinking, yo, Pac, what is wrong with you? Why are you playing Ignites? Yo, trust me, I had that same impression, but Ignites are what? They're fire and they're warrior, right? So it's super synerg sy synergetic. And guess what? They can pop themselves to add fire monsters. And when they pop themselves, right, they're actually resources, right? If, if any of you guys have ever played Pendulum, right, this combo is actually has, like, like 10 different variations. But it's kind of like if you play Pure and Dimian. Like, the lines of plays, like, the sequencing of plays is very, very important. But this this is, like, actually insane. And, yo, we're actually not ironically playing Ignites in 2020, man. This is actually just crazy. So, anyways, we're going to go off with Neospace Conductor. Use the effect to summon Dolphin. We're going to use Dolphin Effect to dump, you know, like, uh, probably, like, the Cavalier. It doesn't really matter. We want to keep the level 3s in hands, and I'll explain why later. We're going to hand loop them for one, you know? Can I have some loops, brother? Can I have some loops? Anyways, we're going to hand loop them for one with a uh, Dolphin. And then here, we're going to go into the new Electromite. This card is the new Electromite. Guess what I'm going to search with the Sold? I'm going to search a Pendulum card, man. Because this card is actually Electromite. If you look closely at this picture... You'll actually find out that his soul is actually Electro in disguise. Konami, you missed the card on the ban list. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, baby. Anyways, the soul effect is going to add us the, the Squire. And so this is, um you're actually it's not supposed to add the Squire, but you're supposed to add any other um level uh, scale 7 Ignite. So like, just pretend this is any other scale Ignite. It does, it'll come up later, but like it actually doesn't matter. Um, But anyways, then you're going to use a soul effect, right? Um. 
But I I want to start off with painful decisions, just like uh, dump my deck out. So I'm gonna dump the squire, add another squire. So painful like because they're all normal monsters, it lets you play really strong cards such as unexpected die, painful choice, and summoner art, which is why this deck is like uber consistent. Um, anyways, you're gonna use from here is sold. Uh, you're gonna mill four. The four cards you're gonna mill is uh cursed bamboo sword, uh smoke grenade. I call it Papa Smoke. Um, the Phoenix Blade and then the Durandal. So Curse Bamboo, when it's actually sent to the graveyard, you can actually add um, a Bamboo Sword. And this is how you play around Nibiru. Keep in mind, guys, this has all been uh, four summons. So I did two summons. The Sword is the third. And then all of here is the fourth summon. And then um, the Bamboo is going to trigger to add us the Broken Bamboo Sword. And so the next line in this combo is we're actually going to use two of our scales. Two of the, the Ignites, and we're going to transition into a God Phoenix Gear Freed, right? So for those of you who don't know, it's an effect in the hand that triggers to... It banishes an equip cell from the graveyard or the field, especially some itself from the hand. But what people don't know is that it has a monster effect negation. And that's right, guys. This combo plays around Nibiru. I'm not trying to show you guys some scuff combo that, like, you know, can go off 100%, assuming they have no hand drive. No, this is Nibiru proof, guys. This is, like, Nibiru proof. It's not like... It's not like some combo where I just go off, assume like happy dandy world where they have no hand trap and then you just FTK them with a couple cards. No, this is playing around Nibiru and this is like an, a legitimate way that's consistent. You always play around Nibiru. You always search uh, Phoenix Gear Free. Like you have like so many card combinations that gets you to two Ignites and two Ignites means that you play around Nibiru every single time. So anyways, uh, it's going to explain why you search the Broken Bamboo Sword too. So like I said, this deck is very complex guys. So um just like uh, you guys might want to like watch it again i'll put the replay in the description box below too so you guys can study this this is like very complex anyways you're gonna use the bamboo sword and equip it to all of your then summon gear freed so you'll notice that i equip the bamboo sword to all of your first and then summon gear freed because once this card successfully summons this is actually the fifth summon so they have the right to nibiru you but guess what if they do all you have to you can easily negate it because it can send any face up equip card you control to the graveyard and it doesn't have to be equipped to gear freed. So because it's equipped to all of your, that's totally fine. So that's why it's really, really strong. So this card right here, you already see it's ready to hit that. It's really just smash that rock out of your opponent's hand. Anyways, keep in mind your opponent is at four cards because you already hand looped them for one. Um so you already ripped out a hand trap. So that's really, really nice. Anyways, um you're then gonna use uh the is sold into a link ross and you're going to generate two level one tokens and then from here you're going to do something before uh before anything else and that is to actually use the phoenix blade and you're going to banish the dolphin and the uh the space connector to get you a uh, phoenix to your hand and the reason why you do this is because you're going to link off the olivier and so when you link off the olivier the bamboo sword is actually going to fall off therefore you won't be able to play around the beer anymore but thankfully the phoenix blade which lets you add it back to your hand can now equip to the Godfrey. Um, and so um, now you can easily link off the Olivier for um for you know, you know, the most oppressive card of this format, Noodle Fiber. And guess what? Yeah, you already guessed it, man. Olivier is a freaking tuner, bro. How is this fair? Anyways, Olivier is a tuner. I don't ask the questions, man. Konami made the cards. That's all I'm saying. You're gonna make noodle fiber and use noodle fiber effect to summon vion sphere this card if you guys have not bought it yet i assume you get your hands on this right now because it is going to be bought out to infinity this card is so broken and none of its effects are once per turn so let me explain to you what this card does if it is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard you can pay 500 life coins and equip it to any card on my field any monster card right but and so that's fine that's that sounds okay but here's the craziest part when it's it, when this is an equip card, when it becomes an equip card, right? You can send it from the equip spell and trap zone to the graveyard to re you to uh bring back any equip card in your graveyard and equip it to your monster. Um, this will come in handy pretty soon. I'll show you guys how. Anyways, we're gonna make formless synchron here. We're gonna chain block. So we're gonna go chain link one, uh, via chain link one formless synchron chain link to sphere. Pay the five in your life points. Equip to the Godfreed. And draw one card so we already at this point right in the combo we already drew one card so it's just like insane um and anyways we're gonna use violent sphere now send it to the graveyard and bring back an insane card i, I i've never played go format like i just started playing yugo not too long ago as you guys know but this card man it came out in um i, I forgot what set i think it's like darkness something lod like layer of darkness maybe Anyways, man, Smoke Grenade of the Thief, man. I heard this is, like, it's absolutely insane. And guess what? This card is literally Confiscation. 
if you guys are playing in Farfra's traditional tournament, you probably have confiscation in, in you know in every deck. But this card is confiscation and it's freaking legal, man. This card is actually legal, like absolutely insane. So, anyways, smoke grenade, right? When this card is destroyed by the card effect, doesn't matter how. Look at your opponent's hand, select one card from and discard into the graveyard. If this card doesn't yell confiscation, I don't know what does. Anyways, we're going to continue with the loops. So, the reason why we sent Varn to the graveyard, there's a specific reason. is because we're going to make Metamarcher, and we're actually going to bring back the Sphere. And that's really, really important because we want to abuse Sphere, right? Like, it's not once per turn. Because every time it's linked off, you trigger its effect. So, we want to abuse Sphere as much as we can. So, anyways, we're then going to go into our favorite card of the format, of course, Aurora Dawn. Because guess what? If Sphere wasn't broken enough, it's also a freaking machine. It's a level 1 machine tuner. Like, this card was was designed, man. It was meant to be broken sometime, like, so sometime, and the time is now. Anyways, we're going to use, uh, we're going to chain block Aurora Dawn again. We're going to go chain link 1 Aurora Dawn, chain link 2 Sphere. And we're going to equip, uh, we're going to bring the Spheres back to equip to uh, Gear Freed. And then we're going to use the Rodon to uh, make three tokens. From here, we're going to use a Rodon effect to summon O line, which is classic. And we're going to use the O line and the token to make Rose Maiden. So this seems like we're about to go like some, you know, VFD, draw two BS. No, no, no. We're not doing that. All right. We're going to take this combo to like a higher ceiling, right? Like, like, like a way higher ceiling. And, and keep in mind, guys, this is all playing around Nibiru. This is playing around hand traps. It's not like I'm doing this combo out of thin hair, assuming a magical fairy land where we just like go off. No, this is like playing around Nibiru, right? Which is like the biggest weakness of combo decks, Womble decks at this time. So we're going to use O-Line's effect when it's linked off to trigger, uh, make another level three token. And then we're going to make Coral Dragon, right? The Coral Dragon, as we've seen in the past, like it's super insane because it's a tuner. But also because it can bring it can be revived back with Rose Maiden. So you'll see how soon. We're gonna use both of them. And we don't make Crocosaurus, we actually make Charlemagne. And this card is absolutely nuts, man. Like this card is so 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 insane. Um so what Charlemagne does is that during the end phase, you can actually equip him with uh, an equip spell from the hand of the graveyard, and then uh, and then equip a fire monster from the deck to this card. Um, the craziest thing about this is whenever a monster on the field becomes equipped with an equipped spell, you can actually destroy any card on the field. And so, I actually um, misplaced my Smoke Grenade Thief, and, and placement really, really matters here. So this was a misplay on my part, but it's easily fixed. Um, because you need your pen scales, and your pen scales are left and right, of course. So placement actually really matters, because what you're going to do here is you're going to actually use all of yours effects all of yours has a graveyard effect so when it's, when it's in the graveyard you can target any warrior monster you control and equip it to that target and the craziest thing about all of yours is that the equipped monster right becomes intargetable so anyways we're going to equip it to um godfried we're going to equip it to the gear freed just because it becomes a non-targetable negation it's just insane and then because a monster got equipped with an equipped spell we can actually trigger Char charlemagne to do what pop our own smoke grenade right so we're going to trigger confiscation number one. So now we hand loop them for effectively two cards. One through Dolphin and then two through Smoke Grenade, right? Keep that in mind, guys. I have public knowledge of his entire hand, too, by the way, at this point. Like, if that card doesn't scream, like, a bad idea, I don't know what does. Anyways, we're going to keep comboing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use Crusader and we're going to use Templar. And we're going to do the, the Triff strategy, man. We're going to Pen Summon. And you're probably thinking, like, yo, Pack, what the heck? You're actually Pen Summoning? I'm like, yeah, guys, you have to make use of all your resources. Everything is everything that you see in your extra deck, canned, graveyard, they're all resources to be exploited, right? Like that's that's like how like amazing combos are built, right? And so like this was something that I originally didn't see. But after just thinking about like these are pendulum cards. Pendulum cards means pendulum summon. That's a mechanic that has to be taken advantage of. So and that's exactly what I do. I'm gonna go pen summon for two. So I'm gonna pen summon out the, the squire. And then I'm going to use uh, the um, effect of Templar to pop both of them to search Renald. So Renald is like actually insane because it's essentially a free special summon from the hand if you control a fire monster, a fire warrior monster. And guess what? The Ignites are. Uh, Godfrey is one. Charlemagne is one. And then when it it becomes a tuner, man. That's like the most important part. It becomes a tuner when it's special summoned from the hand this way. And when it's special summoned, guess what? You can add any equip spell in the banish or graveyard to your hand or any um any uh fire monster from the graveyard or the banish pile 
So what you add is you actually add Durandal back to your hand. And Durandal, you haven't used this, by the way. Durandal is like an insane card. It's a rotor for the deck. But it's a rotor for like also Ignite cards. Like that's why it's also really insane. Because you can actually search your Ignite cards. Like whatever piece you're missing. Like this deck is like, like I said, it's very complicated. And it's like multiple card combo. But like you search what you're missing. And then you like figure your way um, to get to like this devastating end board. Anyways, we're going to use um, Sphere Effect. And we're going to equip... The uh the smoke grenade, the second smoke grenade at this point. And then we're gonna use Renald plus Squire plus Rose Maiden. You guys, quick math. That's a three plus one plus uh plus five. So uh you can already tell me uh what that makes, and that's of course Tristula. Um one of the most iconic synchro monsters in today's metagame, right? So or like in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! actually. Tristula right now is at one, and this card is like absolutely insane. So we're now gonna go hand loop counter three. And so the card that we actually discarded off of a smoke grenade, right? Let's say it's like, you know, like an Elec card that triggers in the end phase. Bruh, that card, I don't even care if it floats, man. I'm just going to banish it. If it's a Shadal card, it doesn't even matter because you know why? I'm going to banish your field too. So if you, if I hit your Wendy and you're going to summon like another, like, uh, I don't know, Beast. Bruh, that card is getting banished. Trishla is insane. So now we're hand loop counter at three. But it gets it gets like crazier. So now we're gonna use Rose Maiden to bring back the Coral Dragon, and then this other level three monster Squire, um, is gonna help us make Crocosaurus, which also gives us another free draw one. And then Crocosaurus, by the way, for those of you who don't know, can actually destroy any card on the field, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna discard the uh, Painful Decision and the Expaladin to pop my own Smoke Grenade, and now guys, we're at Hand Loop number four. Hand Loop number four. And uh, you already see we have a couple level nines on the board, so you already know we're now gonna make Blatnir, and Blatnir is gonna get us to hand loop number five, man. You're so you're starting off your uh, your turn with one card in your hand, but does that matter? Because at this point we can actually just go Charlemagne plus Gearfried into VFD if if we're afraid. I don't know why we would be, but we actually don't. And the reason is because the following turn I want enough damage to just push for game. That's like my game plan. Um, and then also because of the fact that like uh. Uh, Gear Fruit is one monster negate, and then Charlemagne is a quick effect Dryden on the opponent's turn. Um, it also, like, and then, and so it's just, like, absolutely insane. And, like, they can't even out the Gear Fruit with one card because Gear Fruit has, like, insane effects. First of all, it can't be targeted because of Olivier. And then second of all, if it battles any monster during the damage step, it literally equips you. It, it literally takes your opponent's monster and equips it to it. So it outs, like, dumb cards. It outs, like... It outs like let's say um I don't, I'm trying to like think of an example, but it outs like no, like for example uh, uh oh BLS the BLS link it, like for example let's say the BLS link bro if it's non destructible and it can't be targeted bro that's totally fine gear free attack effect equip to me bro it's literally a relinquish it's a relinquish on legs they can't be targeted like what that's just insane um. So anyways, I mean, so that's why I'd rather keep these on the board rather than make VFD. And then Charlemagne, on like, so like on the following turn, you start off your turn, you activate Durandal, trigger Charlemagne, pop a card, and then just switch to attack. Game. So like, as you can see, this combo is like absolutely insane, and it's uber consistent. Like, this is uber, 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 uber consistent. Like, it's just insane. Like, um, and you have like insane follow-up plays. Like, it's, it's just like actually the nuts. Like, this deck is literally like crazy. Like, um... I think this is, like, actually something we have to look for in, like, the metagame as Rise of the Duelist comes out, you know, as Toon KS comes out, as Gear Free comes out. Like, man, I, I'm just, ho I hope you guys, like, you know, enjoy this combo tutorial video. Um, I, if this video gets 300 likes, I will put up a deck profile of this. Um, so, um, if you guys enjoy this deck profile, please, or I guess this combo tutorial video, please comment in the comment section below your thoughts on uh, Infer Noble Knights and ignites um in in like the the metagame going forward also let me know your thoughts if this is something that you would play is this like too degenerate or what um but anyway guys um i hope you guys really enjoy this and i'll see you guys in the next one peace